that, try that. Never keep a gun in my lap. Talk is so cheap and when it don't end with a grieving, I'm ready for the battle. Bring it on this evening. Ah! Coming at me wrong is bad juju. You better not make me. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You gotta think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. Good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's gotta watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Richie Boy. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bulldog. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Go here forward, we go. go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Goes upstairs with the kick. Oh, flipped him with the jab. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Excellent job of timing these combinations. And he eats a high one. Oh, and he connects there. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Wow! He's got him hurt here. Big shot! Wow! He tagged him! Back to the feet! Oh, very nice. Powerful right hand. Shots landing on both sides here. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh! That one hurt. Starting to land those kicks to the body. Absolutely, Joe. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Head kick! 
He just tagged him with that uppercut. He's got to be careful not to run into things, though. Blocks the shot. Oh, oh big shot! He is stumbling. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! Oh! He hurt him! Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, big left! How about that chin? Whoa, he's out. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, this fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And you want to credit the offense and not denigrate the defense, but he did not get the guard up. And against this type of striker, you are absolutely playing with poison. So a near-perfect kick spells the end of this one here tonight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. Here we see it again. Boom. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, 54. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. NYC, LA, Chicago, Detroit, the whole world. Let's get it. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. You're gonna be looking to find the target and find a home for those heavy hands. This is just not a guy anybody wants to get in a slugfest with. More often than not, you end up twitching on the canvas, concussed. You're playing with fire here if you choose to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with this guy. This guy has outstanding defense. And having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender, I can assure you of that. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot coming, he's tagged you. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. 
This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, the Great! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's we are underway. On. He got tagged there. Great combination there, Joe. He's fainting with the punch. Caught him in the punch. Cut to the head. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, he tagged him in the left. Lands a big right hand early. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Well, Joe, you gotta hold the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's. Oh, this could be it. Again, they clinch. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. How about that shin? Lands a nice kick. Oh, another one! This could be it right here. That's a big hook. Hard straight punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, huge oh. man. He got hurt very, very oh. badly. Accurate uppercut for the KO. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We can see it from another angle here. Here is the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. Look at this. Boom, right on the button. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. The official decision Ladies is in. Here Mario is one of the final stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Boom, boom. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon. All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. 
He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Base. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Four years apart, with the same height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, the king! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Ebro Wang. All right, for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC lightweight champion here tonight? It is time to find out. Oh! Oh, big kick! Watch the shot here, Joe. He didn't miss with that uppercut! Oh! oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he... Whoa! Trouble. Now goes in and secures the 
the takedown. some serious power in that kick but misses what a jab oh he's got a good Muay Thai clinch here Joe how about that chin nice leg kick big oh. kick to the head he is done he's definitely hurt under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. control once again 45 seconds remain in the round moves to full guard 30 seconds now to go in the round and he's looking for that left oh beautiful beautiful right hand by the champion wow this fight is dangerous and close oh! to being stopped. Oh! Round two next. Oh, so there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down near the end of it. Saved by the bell. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And let's look at that from a different camera. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Whoa! He hurt him. He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Oh, he might be out. Oh, what a leg kick. He's hurt him. Oh. Unbelievable. Kick. Nice leg kick. He's hurt again. 
He is clearly in big, big trouble here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he connects there. Into side control again. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. This cut in his face is getting worse. Wow! Oh, he might be out. Round three next. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact and. Blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. And here's another devastating kick to the head. And here's one more kick to the head that stuns his opponent. And you can see both fighters giving and taking in that round. I want you to cover up, cover up, keep the original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, he connects there. KO for the victory. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Here it is one more time. Bang. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 25 seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by knockout. been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world. June blanks but you gotta hit the chart at least. Seen a lot of young MCs even for peace.